So if we meet the color offset of the problem, so we need to do the calibration on putting the lecture to left of left adjust and to right of left adjust and the bad lecture of left adjust. So first we need to open a file for test. So we go to open the control system. We open the file and we find out a file named color offset calibration file. This file you can find out from the USB flash that go with the machine delivery with the folder named VirgaJet test pre file. And we choose the file with PRN format. And then we open it. And this file is eight color. That means this file with white ink and color ink together. So we then we go to setting and extend it. From here, we can see they have numbers. First, the printed model. This is the printed wave for electricity to drive the ink job, ink job less size printing. So you choose the current, choose the right print model to match with your ink, soft ink or hard UV ink or soft UV ink. And then here we can see they have overlap to left, overlap to right. And overlap to left is named print under to left. And what varnish is zero. Zero is gray, cannot change. That means the zero, we do all the parameter adjust according to what ink print head as standard. And the color print head, right now the number is 1356. And head three is zero, head four is zero, because the, the comb budget, we only put two print head, white and color. So head three and head four, we keep as default. Then here is the number for overlap to right. It's not means overlap to right on the picture, but we need to adjust print under to right to adjust this number. So the white one is also zero, no change. Color like this, one three fifty seven, and has three head four also keep as default by zero. So how to adjust it? And also here have overlap vertical print. First one is zero, and print two here. Zero means what print head vertical, and 355 is for vertical on color. So we keep what print head not change, and we change the number on color to be sure it's not overlap. So let's start. So first we need to do the adjust by to left. So first we must choose to left. And please remember, if you choose here, print by to left, but you change the number by to right, so the number we're not, we're not using, it's been not working. So if here you choose to left, so we change the number to left after we print. And if you choose print to right, so we just change the number here back to right. Okay, so let's, let me show you how to do it. First, we choose to left print. And not change like default, and we choose the file, and we set the margin, and then we go to print. And also we need to open the white ink. And then the machine starts to print. <clears throat> so we can see the machine starts to print the white layer first, then print the color layer on the top. You need to open a UV control box. Okay, after print, let's see. So this after print, we can see the white ink overlap. That means the color need to move to left. And also on vertical, there's a little bit white ink overlap to 
at the front, the bottom side, like this overlap, but not cover fully. So we need to go to the software and do some setting. Okay, then we go to software and we go to setting. And because right now we print back to left before, so we need to change the number back to left. Because the white ink is overlap to left, so we need to increase the number. But how much we need to increase, we can try by two or one for each time to try if this can be covered. So for example, right now we put increase five, or we put one, three, six, one, back to left. And vertical, also a little bit, but not too much. So we can increase a little bit. So we're going to uh, put increase one by six. And then we go to the history list and we choose the file by right click to add to print job by the same file. Again, we change the number here. We increase one, we increase the file and we increase the one here. And also we choose print to left to, to, to confirm again. Then we choose, but we need to set the margin. For example, we put this number and this picture is 30 millimeter. So we put 30 millimeter. So we'll be, and with the gap, we'll be 55. Or we can be a bit bigger by 60. Then we go to print again. So we can see the second one after we print. Let's see. So we can see the print result. This is before number, after we change, overlaps, no problem. A little bit, we just uh, need to uh, uh, reduce one number, uh, increase one number again for uh, to left, and the vertical also reduce one number again. So this is the procedure to adjust to left. So after we did a uh, adjust to left, then we can do calibration for to right. So we go to software again, and we go setting, and we first choose print selection to right, here at to right. And if we change the number to right, but right now we don't know it's, it's okay or not. Actually, to left to right, right, we are not not different too much. But now we just to check if uh, this number is okay. And so we just uh, uh, print under this 57. So see the margin by 100 and we got print again they put the wet ink layer first they put in the color on the top Okay, so after print by to right, we can see the print out result. The last one. Here we can see the white ink of left to left by print to right direction. But the, the vertical is okay, just to right. So we need to change number on the software. So we go to software and setting, and we find out this number. So this number have an overlap to what in overlap to left. So we need to increase the number. Let's try one, three, 
six, two. And vertical is okay, so we just keep as default, no change. So to right, we change the number to right. And then we choose supply and print again. And we change the Y margin by 140. The print. Okay, after the print, we can see the last print. We can see the first print is overlap to left, and up the just is cut, it's not overlap. And then to right, we adjust the number, not, or not overlap, and all square are exactly matched. So that means it's no problem. So, so this is a procedure to adjust the, the color offset by vertical and horizontal, by to left and to right. If you if you get this overlap to left, no problem, and overlap to right, no problem. Then if you print it by faster speed, by bad direction, you can get uh, the best print resolution and quality. Okay, thank you.